Next up, we're gonna bring in Ruby Vasquez. Ruby, are you there? Hi, Wallace. Hi, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ruby Vasquez is um, Watsonville born and raised. She's an educator, organizer, folklorico dancer also. Let's not forget that. And uh, she works for the Pajaro Valley Unified School District in the realm of parent education. But in 2020, Ruby spearheaded an ambitious effort to make sure that the campesinos, the field workers of Pajaro Valley, weren't forgotten when people began talking about this thing called essential workers. And um, Ruby, you began this, this uh, thing that has, been, that has been called the Campesino Appreciation Caravan. Um, it started as really a gesture of appreciation for what the campesinos were doing to contribute to the economy. Is that right? Yeah, correct. So, um, um, so we, st a, a group of us gathered on a Zoom meeting just to support each other um, on a Friday night. And we found ourselves starting to talk about what was happening out there um, with the families that we serve. Many of the, my friends and families who, family who were on that call are, um, you know, they work here in the community, they're educators, they were, you know, some counselors, we have a principal on our team. Um, and we are very much aware of what the families were going through. And we, um, no, we just started noticing on mainstream TV, mainstream media that the uh, title of essential worker was not being used when um, speaking of campesinos, of field workers. And yet we know um, because we, so many of us come from that background, we know how um, important that work is. I mean, my goodness, you know, they do put the food that we eat every day on our plate, you know, smoothies <laughs> that we drink, That's the right. salads that we eat, you know. Um, and yet, once again, they just weren't, weren't being forgotten about. And so we, we did come together um, originally to go out and just say thank you, gracias. And we took our signs of appreciation and we had amplified messages and we would drive by the workplaces and, and uh, just, you know, say thank you. And uh, they were, the reaction was, was, was interesting because they were like, what? You know, they, they, they were like, <laughs> you're, they, they were used they, to being they thanked, up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they ended up thanking us, you know, for going out there. And um, we were just like very, you know, thought, wow, you know, how humble these people are. Um, and so quickly when the numbers started going up, we realized that, um, that we needed to get information out. So then our, our drive bys, um, as we would drive by the, the work sites, we also started taking, you know, packets of information. And so we get info, we were getting information just so that we can make sure we were uh, providing the correct information. We were getting information from Watsonville City we were getting information from the um, Santa Cruz uh, Agricultural Commissioner's Office. We um, were getting um, information from Salud para la Gente. So we wanted to make sure we were giving out the uh, correct information about COVID safety. And, um, and then our packet started getting thicker and thicker with information about local community resources. Um, when, once school started, we started getting, putting information about school. So our packet is quite hefty. And when we take it out to the campesinos, we do encourage them to just take some time when they get home after they've, you know, uh, gotten home and made dinner and such to just take some time and read it because resources are here in our community. We're very lucky here in Watsonville to have the resources available. Let me ask you what happened when NBC came calling and um, did a feature on the caravan. Outsiders began to notice what you were doing at that point, and they wanted to do something similar, right? Correct. So, um, or they wanted to help you, I guess. Well, they, it was both. It was both. Um, that the NBC um, article was great. It it did. Um, it just went viral, and we started getting lots of. Um, we do have a Facebook page, and and that's what that's where we started getting more comments on. You know, we want to join. We want to go and support. And at the time, and until to this day, we really wanted to maintain the um, the protocols, and so we 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 didn't want people flocking into Watsonville 
to support uh, the campesinos here. The, there's campesinos all over California, you know, all over the country. And so, you know, we wanted to encourage folks to start their own um, caravans or their own uh, appreciation, uh, actions of appreciation. And so we put together like a, a little to-do sheet, like what to do before a caravan, what to do during a caravan and what to do after a caravan. And folks started, you know, um, using that, that, that document. And we actually were able to, you know, get on some Zoom meetings with folks um, who wanted to start one and uh, help them and just support them and answer their questions. And so there have been caravans in Salinas. There's an ongoing caravan, um, Hijas del Campo um, in Brentwood. Um, there, there were a couple um, in, I believe, Hollister locally. So we were really happy that we were able to help them. But with that report, we got a slew of people wanting to contribute in many ways, not just monetarily, but you know, donating items. And so um, we did set up a, a, a GoFundMe page and we did get a fiscal sponsor through um, the Action Council of Monterey. And we were able to generate enough money um, that we've been able, that currently right now over the winter, uh, season since we knew the winter was going to be a hard winter for many campesinos, um, we've been able to be we've been able to give um, some monetary support to families. Uh, just on Saturday, we were able to give 35 families um, gift certificates of $500, and um, we were able to, um, with the CARES Act money that we were able that we received, we were also able to do a, a wonderful holiday. Um, safety options for a hundred campesinos where we are gifting them, you know, passes to the, the Santa Cruz Fairgrounds light celebration. We did a paint night. Um, we were just looking for options of what they could be doing with their family in a safe way during these holidays. And at the same time, continuing to put out the message about safety because the numbers here in Watson will continue to go up. And, um, you know, we need to be looking at things about, you know, uh, housing situations for campesinos, um, wages, you know, medical, um, their safety. We, we, there needs to be some work done in that area so that, um, so that campesinos don't have to be, you know, relying on like voluntary, volunteer support. Well, it's amazing how the caravan has uh, changed and adapted over the, uh, over these months it started out as an appreciation right and then it turned into an informational thing then you're giving them gifts and and you know uh, uh uh things for the children i mean that suggests that this may may become a movement something that's um you know very strong connection that wasn't there before between the people who pick our food and the rest of the community. Maybe that connection wasn't as strong as it, as it uh, needed to be. And you've built something that, that makes that connection stronger. Yeah, and I think it's you know, happened before, especially you know, with the work of the UFW, there's, there's, they've always been um, you know, promoting the rights and the needs of campesinos. Um, but I think what happens as a, as a society is we, we begin to forget, you know, we forget, you know, we start, we, we, we all start to thrive and we all start to move on and go on and we forget about the the segments of our of our communities that are um, are doing essential work but just aren't being able to you know reap the benefits I mean like if you think about organic produce I mean many of the campesinos can't even purchase that um, for their for their families you know so um, Will this continue as far? I mean, uh, will this continue? Um, we, we, I know our team has been have has said that we're um, we're committed to to continue this until there isn't a, a need due to COVID. What does that mean? I don't know, but um, I mean, we are a very committed group of people, and um, who knows? We may end up. You, I bet we will end up taking this a little further than what we think. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, now, you have a personal stake in this too, because you have a background in this. So you 
grew up in Watsonville. Your mom and dad um, still sell vegetables, right? Still have a farm, right? right? Are there yes. Yes. And you have done this work in the past. So this is, this is personal to you as well. Very personal, not only to me, but many of our team members, because we all, most of our team come from uh, Campesino families. And many of us worked in the local fields here growing up, um, either as our weekend job or our summer job. And, um, and so, yes, we know that this job is, essential, we know it's noble. My parents, um, my, my grandmother, as a matter of fact, was the first one, uh, three generations now um, ago to start a strawberry farm in Moss Landing. And then my parents took it over. So currently Vasquez Farms, and you can find them at any of our local farmers markets, they're still doing it. My parents are still running this business and um, it takes a toll. I, going out there every morning, I mean, my goodness, at five in the morning to pick crops, to pick strawberries, raspberries, lettuce, everything that we are so fortunate to have in, in this area, uh, to be out there from, you know, five in the morning till sometimes 6.30, seven at night when, you know, during spring. It's a, it's a hard job, Wallace. When, we're, when we go out there and we're taking, the, taking a lunch, you know, it, we're, we're seeing, you know, that their clothes, the clothing is wet, the shoes are wet. I mean, um, it, it, I've, seen, it, I've seen how it's taken a toil on my dad, for instance. Um, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a hard job and, and, it's, and it is very personal to many of us in, in this group. We um, see some of our students out there. Um, we've had students, you know, high school students um, who, um, who, you know, when we're out there, we'll see, we see the parents of the families uh, of the school children that we serve. Um, it's so much about it is personal. And um, we are just hoping that the youth that, is, that are in our group, um, many of us have our, our high school children and, and they've been very involved in, in this effort. And that is very hopeful to see that they're taking this on and that their eyes are being open. Just like Bella said, um, you know, as young, as, young, as young folks, sometimes it takes that, you know, active participation to have your eyes open. And we're hoping that that, we know, we know that that's happening with the young folks on our team. Well, I think with the work you're doing there, what you're helping is that the people in the fields picking the food that we all eat aren't invisible anymore. And uh, I think that's, that's something we owe them. So um, I congratulate you on your work and uh, a remarkable year for you, Ruby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ruby.